Well, I mean, first of all, I think that it's, un it's unfortunate that that kind of confusion um, happened. That does not uh, provide the kinds of levels of confidence that uh, citizens would like to have in the bodies that govern the various portions of, of city government. Uh, it appears as if the actual document that was finally produced and distributed publicly uh, did not reflect the motions and the proposals that were made. It, it still speaks to uh, some of the issues of confidence that this community has towards um, the St. Louis Police Department. Um, and that, again, in mentioning that, that's not an indictment of any officer or anything like that. There are some structural problems here in that the St. Louis Police Department is governed by the state and not locally. That means that citizens don't have the kind of the citizenry, the citizenry of the city of St. Louis does not have the kind of control over its police departments that other, other citizens around the country have over theirs. The, for example, the state law says that the Board of Aldermen cannot enact any legislation that interferes with the functioning of the St. Louis Board of Police Commissioners. Well, that's pretty clear. Uh, it's a hands-off relationship. And in many ways, that creates an adversarial relationship between the city government and the Board of Police Commissioners. The major issue here is, though, is that there is no real local connection between the Board of Police Commissioners and the community. Yes, these are individuals who uh, live in this community. However, there is no local mechanism uh, by which citizens have any input into who is selected to control their police department. Uh, these individuals are not elected. They're not appointed by anyone locally that citizens elect. So they're really very much locked out of the process. In my opinion, that really creates a, a rather adversarial relationship between the city and this independent board who is um, controlled by the state. Uh, there, it automatically sets up this kind of adversarial and antagonistic relationship between the two, structurally. So this causes, a, in my opinion, a structural adversarial relationship that's unnecessary that you really don't see in other cities.